SolidWorks just got a whole lot bigger. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Jimmy. I just got back from Nashville, Tennessee. 3D Experience World was formerly known as SolidWorks World, but now SolidWorks has gotten so much bigger, all different purposes and all different kind of fields. So they kind of just split it up. For us industrial designers, we have a certain package now that we can purchase from SolidWorks to really improve our design capabilities using their tools. So there's a lot I wanna talk about with you guys, but let's just take a couple of steps back and talk about how I even got there. So I received a message from SolidWorks itself inviting me if I want to attend their 3D experience world and I said, heck yeah, right? I've been making tutorials, teaching you guys how to use SolidWorks, so I thought this was gonna be a great video that I could just see all the new things that SolidWorks has to offer because to me, guys, SolidWorks was just a program that I used. I knew it was a stable program that all industrial designers use, but I just didn't know quite how big the company was. I was low-key freaking out because when I was flying on the airplane, there were some thunderstorms going on, like lightning storms going on outside of my windows. But when I finally got there, it was really awesome and it just kind of blew my mind on how big SolidWorks actually is and the moment that I found that out was was the very first day when I went into the general session I walked in through the doors and it's this giant building and I saw a sea of people with a ton of lights and a big stage all the way in the back as I was walking down the aisle, just passing all the people sitting down and observing, I just kept walking. You could see C and C and C of designers, you know, mechanical engineers and everybody that uses SolidWorks. Just so many people. We're not the only ones that use SolidWorks, guys, but we use SolidWorks in a specific purpose. This is pretty much what I want to share with you guys. So SolidWorks has come out with a couple of new applications that really cater to us designers. And so if you guys haven't used SolidWorks before, well first go ahead and check out my past videos where I teach you guys how to use SolidWorks and all the different tutorials step by step. It's very thorough, it's very long. So if you really want to learn SolidWorks, go ahead and watch the videos. The links should be down below. SolidWorks, it's really easy to make like squares and cubes and triangles and anything that's very straight lines and geometric and it's only when you do a lot of finessing and hard work and time and thinking can you turn that into an actual real functional product. That's always been quite a challenge with SolidWorks and how to create more organic shapes. It's more difficult in SolidWorks and so people tend to either use very specific tools and features in order to get their designs to look and feel more organic and round or they'll use surfacing. It's a different kind of a thought process when you're actually using surfaces to build something. So SolidWorks now has finally solved that issue for us industrial designers and creating more organic shapes with the introduction to X shape. Now guys, I know I keep saying SolidWorks, it's technically Dassault Systems, which is the big parent company of SolidWorks, but I, I'm just so used to saying SolidWorks, I'm gonna continue to say that in this video. Essentially, X shape is a brand new program that essentially starts off very organic and we kind of force it to be more geometric, but we don't have to force it to be more geometric if we don't want to, we could just use SolidWorks for that. We can actually now push and pull bodies similar to how Blender works or Rhino works and you could just kind of create these very organic shapes, the things that you created in X shape, and you can move it into the traditional SolidWorks of what we're used to and do everything else that you need to in there, which is extremely cool. So I was able to see a couple demos. So if you guys take a look at this here, you can see they're trying to build this outer shell right here. And technically this would take so long to build in SolidWorks. It's definitely possible, but it will take so much longer to build shapes like these in SolidWorks, but you can totally do them so easily 
easy and seamlessly by highlighting these points here and pushing and pulling them to create the shape that you're looking for. They partnered up with a big YouTube channel. His name is called Impact Props, I believe, and they created this brand new Iron Man SRT1 Barracuda mask. It's not the traditional normal Iron Man mask, which I thought would have been way cooler, but it's still really cool itself. And they were able to create this mask using X shape just by selecting these certain points, pushing and pulling it to get that shape, to get that organic shape that we're all looking for. And guys, this is going to be such a game changer when it comes to creating things as industrial designers using X shape or SolidWorks. So if I want to edit this sub D feature, uh -huh. so I can try, I can able to expand freeform very easily. You can't do that at all in SolidWorks. Uh, yeah, nope. so yeah. <laughs> It's, it's difficult actually so yeah um, so once I saved it okay then I want to apply any feature on it uh -huh. then I will try to uh, have the X design the product will automatically switch to X design mm -hmm. and then I can apply any feature on it see now it's transition is successful there now we, I have X design mm -hmm. so I want to do an extra let's say I want to do an extra so you have like uh, extra here Oh, I see what you're saying now. If you want to do an extrude at SolidWorks, uh -huh. I think you have to draw a sketch and then... Yeah, yeah. But right. you can do straight away, since it's like more touch-friendly, uh -huh. you can select a phrase directly and then you can do the extrude. Another big game changer, guys, with these new programs that SolidWorks is coming out is that they're all going to be browser-based. And what that means is that you just need to open up your Explorer or open up your Chrome, sign in, and then use these programs. It's not the standard traditional way of using these programs by downloading something, installing it on your system, making sure you have the right specs of your system to run on these programs smoothly. Going to be none of that. All you need is a browser and a good internet connection and you're able to just use all of these programs online. And there's a couple of benefits to this. So you don't actually have to have a dedicated computer with these programs on it anymore. You could use your computer, you could use your laptop and you could actually create your designs on something as simple as a tablet which is kind of crazy and another benefit they mentioned too which was really cool is that since it is a browser based application they're able to collect a lot of the data from the users using AI so that they can actually help suggest certain things that are way past the normal capabilities of SolidWorks so that is just like next level future right there and I'm glad you guys are watching this YouTube channel because I know industrial designers we can get very comfortable of the programs that we're using and we get really good at them and we don't want things to change and we get very comfortable, right? So you watching this video, now you know kind of like the future of what 3D CAD will possibly be like moving forward. is one really big printer and that's a piece that it could print. That's gigantic, oh my gosh. That's amazing, the blending of the different colors seems so real and natural. Just like a little splotch of the light color. So that is the brand new Form Labs. So I currently use the Form Labs 2, but they definitely have really stepped it up with the brand new Form Labs. So this is the third one and I gotta say, the design of this thing is looking pretty sweet. But look at this one, guys. Boom. The big daddy. Oh wow, look at that giant bone, clear bone that they printed. Wow, that thing is giant. And then here's some more examples of the things that they've printed. I think Formlabs is really great uh, for the cost. They only cost about like a couple thousand dollars, three to five thousand dollars or so. Uh, the, early, the one that I saw earlier made by 3D Systems, it's called the Form 4, I think it was. 
that thing costs about twenty thousand dollars so it's still affordable but it's definitely not as affordable as the form labs and I think the difference, what they said, is uh, quality and speed. So if you can sacrifice a little bit of quality, I would say Form Labs is decently good with quality. It's not the best. You know, the one, the Form 4 that I saw, that one was really good and the materials look really strong. Uh, but for, for just like a regular use, like just a regular hobbyist, or a small business, you could totally use a Form Labs 2 or 3. So just to tell you guys a little bit more about how 3D Experience World works, it's definitely a very educational kind of an atmosphere. Throughout the whole day, they have a lot of different sessions that you can sign up for and just go and attend these little sessions where they'll teach you certain aspects of what you wanna learn, whether that's like learning about simulations or composer or rendering or visualizer. You can go ahead and attend these certain sessions and learn all about what you need to learn. So if you are working at a company that uses a lot of SolidWorks product, I would highly recommend you go ahead and attend 3D Experience World so you could have all the questions that you ever had with SolidWorks answered right then and there. I would spend more time recording out here, but if you guys can't tell, it's definitely very cold and wet out here, so I'm going inside, guys. Got a couple of goodies. Ooh, check out that 3D Experience World 2020. Oh, yeah. Water bottle. So this is pretty cool. So you drink it like this. Ah. Oh, it's also like a pour bottle. So you don't really suck out of that, you just kind of like open your mouth and pour it in, which I think it's good because if you guys ever use those suck bottles where you actually put your mouth on the mouthpiece, um, a little bit of saliva always gets into the water bottle and over time it makes the bottle stinky and I hate that. I, I don't even try to clean it, I just throw it away. Pour bottle, just pour it right into your mouth and you keep it clean, no saliva gets in the bottle. Also, got a little handle. Hey, what up? So we're here in 3D World Experience and I got my man, Bahi. Bahi, what up, bro? Hey, what's up? Wait, so how did you find me? Oh, I just I saw you on Instagram. Okay. Then I saw you at SolidWorks. I, I had a great time. Uh, I learned a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And in the next video, I'm going to be jumping into designing a product in SolidWorks. So uh, I was going to design a simple product, but I would say I already made the videos, I already filmed it, I just need to do the voiceover, but um, it's gonna be kinda intermediate, okay? I'm gonna go slow, I broke the video up into about uh, four different sections, four or five different sections, so I'm gonna go slow. We're gonna start off with the ear cup and then make our way around the band and stuff like that, so just follow along with me guys, I hope you're excited. I think this is great though because I don't want to just design a simple product where you're going to make it, you're going to learn, but you're not going to want to show it off, you know? And so I want to design an actual product along with you guys where you guys can actually, you know, show it off and want to show it off because it's a cool product. So it's a pair of headphones, right? So if you're into consumer electronics um, and you're looking into getting into 3D and CAD, follow along with me and you'll have your very first headphones. You know, obviously you can change it and alter it, but uh, just watch what I do and then you could just run away with the design itself and the style and whatnot. But at least you kind of know the steps to take. So uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you guys are excited about it because I'll try to get that video out soon after this one and uh, yeah anyways guys I'd enjoyed my time here and I will catch you back in California <laughs> all right guys see you in the next video peace